Alright, so today we're looking at this game show called What Would You Do? Um, if you don't know what it's about, it's pretty self-explanatory. They put people in these situations that probably wouldn't ever happen. But just in case they do, um, they act in public and basically the public has to step in to see what would go on. Otherwise, why would the show be a, be a thing? <laughs> Alright, um, this episode's gonna be about nannies, um, there was one about this little girl, um, being rude to her nanny, and, um, this other one is where the nanny is just being blatantly racist, so, yeah, on to the, on to what would you do? I gotta make a call. You pick something out with Alejandra. Okay, Mom. We'll be fine. So? How about this? Okay, look, Nanny. I already told you. I don't need your help. When I see something I like, I'll let you know. She's putting her blood, sweat, and tears into this, um, into this performance. I mean, she's acting like a James Bond villain right now. <laughs> Whatever you want. Whenever you want, whenever you want. And don't be so stupid. I'm the boss. When mom's around, she is the perfect little princess. But when mom's away, a demanding diva comes out to play. Do you let this pint-sized prima donna abuse her babysitter? Or do you stick up for a nanny in need? What would you do? Here comes my mom. You say anything, and I'll get you fired. Everything okay, Alejandra? Oh, we're just great, Mom. I found so many things I like. You're the best for bringing me here. We've taken over the toy box in Colts Neck, New Jersey. Oh my this God. first shopper is nearly frozen in place when she hears Amanda's rude words. Tell my mom to buy me that right now or else I'll have you fired. Oh! <laughs> oh! All right, you're throwing out those hard questions, hey! <laughs> All right, so, um, apparently this happens, and uh, what would you do? She is like, oh my god, <laughs> she is like putting this into the performance so much. And do you want that to happen? No, because then you won't get anywhere in life. Amanda. She struggles with what to do. It's true. And then, reluctantly, she speaks up. Not very nice. That was very mean what she just said to her. I mean, yeah, but she's just a nanny. Yeah, but she's taking care of you. She's looking out for you. And she's got your best interests at heart. Yeah, but we're paying her. It doesn't matter. It's still not very nice to treat her like that. Sherlock Holmes would be uh, proud of you uh, for um, figuring out the mystery. I mean, we all kind of saw that, but... Uh, Okay. I mean, she's like stupid. Like, look at her just stand there. Amanda, I think that makes Shut up, you're just a nanny. And you're just a kid. <laughs> and you should be respectful of your elders. Sorry. I really appreciate it. And now, this soft spoken woman tells the store's manager, who's actually one of our actors, how she's feeling. I'm just She's so deep in conversation that she doesn't see us standing by. And then we step in. Hi, ma'am. How are you? I'm okay. I'm John Quinones. Oh, God. <laughs> this is what would you do? Oh, my God. Okay? She's just like, oh, John Quinones? Who's that? <laughs> You were very upset, obviously. Yeah. What was going through your mind? I was going to leave and come back to the store later because I was very upset by how she was treating the nanny. You just couldn't take it? Mm -mm. She was um, telling her that because she was a nanny, she wouldn't become anything, which is not right. All right, here's the next one of the mom being blatantly racist to um, her um, two... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, to the kid, basically. 
Your mom does not pay me enough to be your nanny. You are such a brat. Sit down. Do you know anything? Go, Tori. Pick him up. Where's the manner? Excuse me. I'm Excuse sorry. Excuse me. Can you mind your own business? No. This, you cannot do this. She's a child. Stating the obvious. I like it. This woman instantly confronts the abusive nanny. Are you okay, sweetheart? Yeah, I'm fine. Do you want me to call somebody for you? She's scaring me. Who is this lady? She's my nanny. Where's your mom? She's looking for information, but the nanny shields herself with a well-known phrase. Stranger, stranger danger, Tori. Stranger danger. Okay? It seems like you're being more dangerous than I am. You know how these kids are, okay? Oh my God, I'm shaking. I never seen this. And then this woman offers our nanny some career advice. I've had it up to here. I've been watching her all day, okay? So why you don't find yourself another job? Ah, the question that we were all asking this entire time. Thank you. It takes a while to get to the big part, so I'm just going to skip to that immediately right now. Even when the crayons are flying all over the place, some people stay quiet. You better start behaving, you little brat. Your mom doesn't pay me enough for this. I wish you were never born, okay? I froze. Like, I had to stop and think about what I could possibly say. I had to say something. Mm -hmm. I just couldn't get there yet. You're such an idiot. But then there are people like Elisa Tejada who do get there quickly. Who are you calling? Lady, who are you calling? You need to move away from me. Okay, you, who are you calling? That's all I'm asking, who are you calling? I'm fine, fine. okay? I'm, on, I'm in front of Subway. I'm... She's calling her a brat, telling her how stupid she is. This is total child abuse. And now watch this woman, a student who calmly watches before slowly heading over. Mind your own business, lady, okay? No, mind, no, your, own mind your own business. No, absolutely not. Well, I'm not a mother, care. I don't have kids, but I know how to at least treat people with respect. To be fair, that is like an actual good thing to say in that situation. I mean, I don't really have a right to make fun of that. That was a good thing to say in that in that case. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm teaching this little girl manners. You're not, no, you're not. Is she yours? No, I'm her nanny. Okay, you're, you're out of your mind. Sit no, down. I'm not out of my no. mind. Touch no. your head. I'm gonna knock your teeth out of your mouth. Sit down. I have nothing to say. I have nothing to say. This woman notices the commotion from across the street and then swoops in as a backup. I think we should call the police. Come here, come here, come here, Sam. You can't be with these kids. She's a brat. I understand. And now this third woman joins in. And the band of mothers is complete. Jeez, I'm just expecting the Avengers music and black cinematic bars are just going to come out of nowhere and just make it look like the Avengers of Moms. can't do this. You're gonna, you can go to jail. You want to go to of jail? Course. Look, I'm in charge of this girl right now, no. so... Oh, you're going to come you and then you're not going to that girl the way you treat her. Thank you. No. She is grabbing her and screaming at her in the street. Okay. Such a uh, good person. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Time to break this scene. Hi there. I'm John Quinones. This is what would you do? Are you okay? You came at her like a tigress. I, that's my personality. And you cursed at her. I almost hit her. Thinking if she would do this on the street, what does she do with her behind closed doors? What were you thinking? I'm the director of the daycare. We all have to be very careful also. Who lives in our house? Who take care of our kids? What place we take them? Because it's very dangerous. Super moms to the rescue. Don't mess with them. Alright, so I might do another video on uh, what would you do? But, uh, yeah. I'm done. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> Y'all got internet personas. Internet personas we hide behind We hide behind We all got demons deep inside us Demons deep inside us we try to hide